गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इकोलॉजिकल एडेप्टेशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो एडेप्टेशन इज एनी एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट एनेबल्स द ऑर्गेनिज्म टू सर्वाइव एंड रिप्रोड्यूस इन इट्स हैबिटेट so attribute means it is the way so it could be any type of way that the organism can apply to survive well in the harsh condition and adaptations are generally genetically fixed that means an organism born with it we don't teach a baby how to adapt in the cold temperature right he or she is capable to bear it hence it is genetically fixed let's talk about the types of adaptations so it could be morphological adaptation it could be physiological adaptation it could be behavioral adaptation so what is morphological adaptation so it is something like external features which are altered or modified to adapt in the harsh environment like desert plants they have a thick cuticle on their leaf surface why to minimize water loss during the transpiration process next desert plants have their stomata arranged in deep pits like structure which are called sunken stomata like this so sunken stomata these are not exposed to the surface you can see this is the surface and this sunken stomata is not really exposed to the surface and it protects the escaping water vapor from air currents and it does so to minimize the water loss through transpiration again some desert plants like opuntia they have no leaves they are reduced to spines and they undergo photosynthesis by their flattened stems this modification is called phylloclad mammals from colder climates have shorter ears and shorter limbs why to minimize the heat loss this is called allen's rule in the polar seas aquatic animals like seals have a thick layer of fat which is called blubber below their skin because it acts as an insulator and reduces loss of body heat next is physiological modification so these are something about internal features in high altitude our body does not get enough oxygen but gradually we get adapted if we stay there for longer time the body compensates low oxygen availability in different ways so first is by increasing red blood cell production that time our red blood cell production gets high it decreases the binding affinity of hemoglobin and by increasing the breathing rate so that time our breathing rate is getting increased now you may ask that how decreasing the binding affinity of hemoglobin helps in this so to answer this question we need to understand that hemoglobin 
doesn't release all the oxygen it binds suppose it is binding huge amount of oxygen but it will not release all it releases a fraction of it hence in high altitude people it binds less but releases more because it has the binding affinity toward oxygen very less so it releases oxygen quickly in the absence of an external source of water the kangaroo rat in north american deserts meets their water requirements through its internal fat oxidation because the fat oxidation will release some water in this way and it also concentrates its urine to reduce water loss human shiver in cold and sweat in heat this is one more modification and desert plants are camp plants who close their stomata during daytime this is the modification in photosynthesis next is behavioral so behavioral means how do organisms behave desert lizards bask in the sun and absorb heat in cold and move into shade in hot day some animals burrow into soil to hide from above ground heat